Hello, everyone. My, my name is Pinata Guy. And welcome back to, 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 to Banjo and Kazooie. It's a bit freezing where we're at because we're about to start f f f f f f f f Freezy Peak. <sighs> Where's the fire? Anywho, uh, yeah, yeah, we're about to start Free Easy Peak, and the last episode, um, we fin- well, we almost kind of finished Bubble Gloop Swamp. We- n there's still one Jiddy left, but we need to move to, um, in order to get that Jiddy. And, uh, hold on a second. My cameraman does not want to... He doesn't, he doesn't want to cooperate today. Anywho, um, so yeah. We'll, we'll come back to Bubblegum Swamp later for that jiggy. Anywho, uh, let's start Free CC Peak. The pig's got another new move waiting for you, if it can find it. So here we are in Free CC Peak, one of my, another one of my favorite worlds within Banjo Kazooie. And here we have this little igloo. And go inside. Oh no, we got three, we, we got three sad polar bears, and we also got a mumbo token. What's the matter? Where? Where's our presents? Our dead bodies said he was fish fetching them. He's been gone in ages. Where? Alright, so, well, we got our 20th mumbo token. So, these little guys are sad because they don't have their presents. So we're, we're going to have to find them. And then slowly go down this very steep slope, but... Oh, my stomach aches. I shouldn't sure have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help for Bobby. So this is Bobby. And he's got a bit of a belly age. Huh? Uh, ground pounding isn't going to do much. We need something much with a lot more force to help out with this little belly age. Alright. And just as you saw that snowball, we have a new enemy. This is Miss Sir Slush. And these guys can get very annoying. We got another mumble token, and some music notes, and more music notes, and another mumble token. Oops. Whoa! Alright. Go over here, we can see one of the, uh, three presents. Whoa! Chill! I'm a present, take me to someone sad. I almost got knocked out by a snowball from that jerk. Watch it! Now, I forgot the name of these ice cubes, but we're just gonna call them ice cubes. But, after you, uh, um, kill, the b kill it when it's big, it splits into t two smaller cubes, and, uh, yeah. Here we have this very long scarf. I'm not gonna collect any of the feathers. I'm gonna save them because we're gonna be flying a lot today. And our new move also requires feathers. So, I'm gonna slowly but surely avoid collecting um, feathers. 
And here we have the blue Jinjo. There we go. Now this is a Now we have this little sleigh. We're not going to get on that just yet. Oh crap! My camera angle is stuck. Okay, there we go. We're not going to use that sleigh just yet. Oh, a sled. Because there's a couple of things to do up here. And there we go. We got our first jiggy in the, the corn cup in the pipe. I don't know if it's a corn cup pipe. Maybe it is. Who knows? And we have the second present. <laughs> it's Cole. Nice one backpack for me, too. Uh, I don't need to use this white pad yet, do I? No, we can wait until... Oh, oh, ho, ho, almost walked off of the star. Okay. Wee! Mumbo Tokyo! Oh. <coughs> That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See you, but see you, buddy. So he ate this. How come he didn't? You know what? I'm I'm not even gonna ask. That says, "A second jiggy, yay!" All right. Uh, let's do this one next. We're the Twinklies. Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across to our tree. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. So, we gotta nap. We gotta get these Twinklies. To the tree safely without getting eaten. Oh crap, no! Come on! Sometimes. It's kind of hard to hit these if you jump a little too high. It's, yeah, like you just saw right then, probably, probably earlier. But we're almost done. But you did. Oh, you son of a gun! There we go. Phew. Phew. That was close, but we made it. Now I'll switch us on. Oops. Alright. Well, there we go. It's a bit of a... It was kind of a little tough, but we managed to do it. And we got another giant ice cube. Boom. I'm gonna collect these music notes. Also, since we have some honeycomb energy right here, there's also uh, some dialogue when I go in when I touch this ice icy water. Is the water too cold for you, my angel? Well, stay out then. There we go. So yeah, you do not. We do not want to touch the icy water at all. <laughs> I say that, and I slowly slide almost into the f into the water. There we go. Yippee! Be a star, and you'll find your reward. Hurry! So yeah, we gotta hurry up over this way, and get on this 
Ow! Jerk. Get on this flight pad and also avoid the source slushes. You didn't see that, alright? You didn't see anything, alright? And that, okay, that was just a misclick, alright? That was just a misclick. And you know what? We gotta try again, because there's no way we're gonna be doing we're gonna do this another 15 seconds. Shoot. Ah, oh, no. Ah! I hate the I hate the right joystick, okay? I I I don't like it. There. This is the same dialogue. Yippee, be a star and you'll find your, your reward. Hurry, yeah, I know. I know. I was hurrying and then I decided to drown pound like a complete knee complete. No surprise I'm a big neat and poof, because I'm always a neat and poof. I'm, I'm always too dumb to do something out of the ordinary while I'm trying to do something. Alright, so what we have to do is we have to fly through the star three times, so that's the second time. And... There we go. And that breaks that, and we have our third jitty, which happens to be inside this, this little Christmas tree. And we have a mumble token. Oh, okay. And we have a returning enemy, the tickers, the ticker termites. And our final present. Take me to the kids. I'm the last one. Uh, do I need it? Yeah, I do need it. I also need these if you lose. Need some feathers too. And some eggs. Ah, crap. Hold up. Okay, let's do it right here. There we go. Got a third jiggy. Yeah, oh, whoa. All right, so that's out of the way. And over here we have our next new move from, from Bottles. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beat bomb attack. Nice one, Goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press speed to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. You've learned all the moves I can teach you on this world now. So yes, we now have a new move for while we're flying that does cost... Ow, I'm trying to talk here. How did that snowball didn't... That snowball didn't even hit me. Okay then. Um... 
you know what? These guys are getting really annoying. So this move, this move that we learned actually comes in handy against these guys. Because as you can see, on the front of the hats, on the front of the little top hats, they have an X. So, oops. Uh, whoops. Boom! See, that kills them. Oh, wow. I, okay, I got that one. Good. And we do want to kill all the the sir slush. It's not only that would not only that's uh, going to be less annoying to deal with. Uh, also gives us a jiggy, and reveals other stuff hidden inside them. Like there's a honeycomb piece right there. Is that it? Yep, that's it. A jiggy spawned at the very top of the t ha of this giant snowman. So, whew. we're done flying for now. Let's go around and collect all the stuff, like these music ones right here. And actually, uh, this I don't want. To, well, wait, actually. I do want to collect these feathers. There we go. And there's another mumble token right there. And we have a Gruntilda switch right here. Boom. And that opens that. Though we can't really get up there yet. As you recall from last episode, there was a... Whoops. There was a fly pad, flying pad switch in that area, and if we press that, that's going to spawn in a flight pad, but we are on a very short time limit, and without the new move, without this new move, which will be uh, next episode actually, uh, we can't we can't, um, get to the flight pad in time. As you just, and as you saw, we got the green ginger. We also got our first honeycomb piece here. Alright. Uh... Uh, let's go over here. Do I want to go over here? No? Yeah, let's go over this way. Alright. Crap. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Alright. There we go. And. Um, kind of, uh, sorry, um, had a little brain fart right there. Um, we have a flight pad on this chimney, and it's kind of another reason why there's a flight pad right here. Another mumble token. <laughs> Who would have guessed? fly all the way up here. There we go. And destroy you. I didn't die. No, trap! Give me a honeycomb. And give me a jiggy. Oof. Okay. Now, I'm not going to... Now, if we try to walk over to these music notes, you can see we kind of slip and slide a little. Which is why we're going to be walking around collecting these music notes as Kazooie, because for some reason, using her doesn't, uh, you don't slip and slide. Which is good. 
is very good. Uh, I thought, really? That high? Jeez. Oh, we drop down to here and then bam. Alright, um. I think we're done with flying for now. Is that all we have to do for flying? I think so. So, there we go. We're done with the flying port. Wait, no, 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 actually, no, no. I just remembered. We need to do one more thing while flying. And it involves with the snowman. Whoa, almost slid right into the water. Crap. Uh, this way. Alright, uh, yeah, flying. Wait, do I need, can I grab that feather? Yes, I can. Alright. So, what we have to do next for flying is, you see these buttons? The actual buttons. Buttons, buttons. There we go. And out comes the jiggy. There we go. That's our fifth jiggy. And... Uh... Alright. Crap, I knew I wasn't going to make that jump. Now, there's really no way for us to get over on that side except for flying, and I guess we could do this. Or we cannot do that. We can't do that at all. Yeah, there's boots right here, but there's no boots on the other side. Totally makes sense. Alright. Hello, Mumbo. Anything behind your chair? Nope. But I did hear a little Jinjo cry for help, and the Jinjo's whistling at me. Did not mean to fall off there. There we go. That's our... That's the yellow Jinjo, and we just got one more. And then, well, looks like we just need 15 Mumbo tokens here, and we have quite enough. Obadak! Banjo gone old fat, got big teeth, her, her. So now we're a chubby little walrish. Or, or, or. We really can't do much as a walrus, walrus in terms of like attacks and whatnot. All we can do is just move around and just jump. But we can, we are, we can go into the icy water and not take any damage, which is really good. So we need the wal walrus for a lot of things. Stuff under stuff in the icy water, uh, a little mini game, and an area to uh, access. So we'll be we'll get to that we'll get to those in a second here, um, because we got a mumbo token right here and a bunch of eggs. Eat the pokemon. Joe, we're stocked up on eggs. Hmm. 
I'm just doing, I'm just gonna give you guys a moment to listen to the background music for this world. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the slide if you do. So we have we we have to do a race with Boggy, and actually we have to do two races. One as a walrus. Yes, I yes, he said that already. One as a walrus, and the other as Banjo Kazooie. But we need that other move to uh, do the second race as Banjo Kazooie because. The second race, he's going to be a lot faster, and we can't catch up to him just as Banjo Kazooie without the move. Great, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go! Whee! I mean, you can still do the first race as Banjo Kazooie. I mean, it just kind of gives you the option of uh, doing this with the walrus. Wee! Wahey! 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 I feel like he's going to push me off, and I'm going to miss a gate. We're almost up there. We're almost there. Boom! It's kind of a little bit of an exploit up at the very end. Phew! You're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. Whew. I'm exhausted. Whew. So there we go. We got our six Jiggy. There's also an extra life row for here. And a golden feather that I'm going to grab. Alright. Oh look, another walrus! Whoa, another walrus! Take this! But watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner! Or, 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 or... There we go, we got our seventh jitty and we opened up this little area. Earlier, there was the, that walrus was guarding the area. Um because of Banjo, and every time we walk up to the wall where it says Banjo, uh, you won't be allowed in at all. But now you can go in as Banjo when we come back here, because we're going to have to come back here anyhow. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around Walrus Cave. The reason why we need Banjo, we need to come back here as Banjo is... We got an orange Jinjo right up there. Or, 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 or. But we do need the wa Walrus for this area. And in here, we have our last honeycomb piece for this world. Though, I don't understand why there's an enemy right here. If we can't get here without Banjo. Alright. Anywho, uh... 
Hang on, let me just check the totals. Huh, okay, so there's the GD for the Jinjos. Uh, oh, this the GD for the kids. And the last GD will be for the second race, which we'll have to come back to. Alright. Mm. Mm. Alright. So now we're done as the walrus. So now we just have to bounce our way back over to back to uh, Mumbo's hut. Didn't really take us that long to really complete this world. Then again, we. Um, then again, we're not getting the last jitty here because we need the moves. Alright, we're back as Banjo. Now, let's go back and uh, get that orange Jinjo. And actually, there's a little hidden room behind that orange Jinjo. Oh, what am I doing? Shiver me timbers. It is fudging freezing. Can I make that? Nope. I cannot make that at all. I think there aren't any so slushes anymore. Otherwise, I'd be dead right now. Potentially. I potentially may be dead. Wait, can I just go over to bottles and ask for a refill on my health? Use the devastating bee bomb aerial attack by pressing B while Kazooie is flying. Okay, well, I mean, yes, that's helpful, but you're know, kind of not being helpful with uh, my health situation. That kind of hurts. All right, well, back into Waz's cave. Luke, my bear then, take that noisy orange thing with you and leave poor Waz alone. All right, we got the last Jinjo and our eighth Jiggy. And as you can see, we have a giant ice key and this is another one of these stop and swap items now as I said back in episode 2 we're not going to get that we're not going to get any stop and swap items because they're probably not even going to work if they potentially plan on releasing Banjo-Tooie did I say banjo to you? No, no. Uh, you didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear nothing. Uh, when they potentially release a sequel to this game, there's a sequel to this game, and it's totally not banjo. To okay, you know what? It, it's 2022. At this point, everybody knows what. That everybody knows that there's a sequel to this game. So, yeah. I can't even try to hide it at all. Even if I tried to, and I just screwed up there. Alright. Alright, kitties. I can't see me. Alright, there you go. You did a red present. And here you go. You did a green present. And you did a blue present. Yippee! Now we've all got presents! Here's something for you! Alright, we got our ninth Jiggy, and with that being said, we're done in Freezy C Pete for now. We have to come back later. Until we get our new move. 
Alright, so we can just hightail it out of here now. Whoa, your best. No, well, okay. I, there's no point in doing a dialogue, it's the same thing that always comes up. It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a barren bird. Alright. So. Yeah, let me just take a look at totals. Yep, there we go. Alright. Uh, uh, come on! Now, there's a hunt- there's a beehive right here, but it appears to have some bees. Walk up to it. Oh, it doesn't give you that. Oh! Touch my honey this time and you'll be sorry! So yeah, once we destroy this beehive, while there's bees flying around, we're gonna get swarmed, so I'm not willing to do that. I mean, you can easily, uh, take care of these guys just by using the gold feathers. Um, whoops. Alright, here's our next note door for 350 music notes. And, in here we have our next world puzzle picture thing right here. So, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, and a, and a nine. And that opens opens up the door to Gobi's Valley, our next world, and the world that has the last move that we need. Um, now we could go this way, but there's really not much for us to do that way right now. So, set back. And also, that's a giant lava pit down there. In case you all might be wondering. Alright. Uh. 37 minutes into the video. About to be 38 minutes. Uh. You know what? Before going to the Dobie's Valley area. Let me guys. Let me. Sh I uh, wanted to show you guys last video where. Um. This pipe was for Clankus Cavern, of where I found that honeycomb. So, and I didn't get to do that. So I have time. I have a little bit of time left in this video. So I'll ooh, go over to that area and show you what I'm talking about. weird. It's like we're, we were just here a couple, few days ago. And I did uh, go back and uh, talk to Bruntilda and got Brunt, all of Bruntilda's little secrets which are going to be useful like towards the end of the, end of the game. Boop, boop, ba-doop, ba-doop, boop, boop, boop. There we go, okay, through this pipe. Alright. Alright, so it's right in front of us here. It's this pipe right here. You just have to go into water and then just swim right up inside and then you get the last honeycomb piece that was there that I completely forgot that was there. 
So, all right, there we go. Um, I think that's all we have to do in this video. All right. So, let's make our way back to the Dolby's Valley entrance. All right, I need it. Whoa, almost got snipped. Almost got flipped by those flippers in the trap. Oh, nope, nope, please don't fall off. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. So that's now taken care of. And now you guys know where that last honeycomb piece is. So yeah, that last honeycomb piece right there is pretty hit well hidden, so you're most likely about to forget about it and or miss it. Alright, so, gotta put these boots on, because we gotta go this way. You side with Banjo, but change deck. Imagine you on Grunty's back. Alright. So here we are at Dobie's, the Dobie's Valley entrance. And with that being said, that is going to do it with this video. <laughs> That's going to be it for the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you th thought about this video in the comments. Uh, please leave a like. You can always subscribe. Um, you don't have to, but it really helps out that helps out the channel and and uh yeah so that's it for now that's the end of the video have a good day sayonara